Hello and welcome to Real Estate. I am Saloni Shukla. It is India's biggest investment market and through this show, we look to empower you to invest wisely in real estate. Over the coming weeks and months, this show will be your most definitive guide into the world of property investments. So let's have a look at what we have for you on the show today. Chennai, the gateway to South India, is slowly picking up pace and beating its western and northern peers. So should you look at Chennai for your real estate investment needs, we find out in our special segment, The Top Pick. As more and more developers and home buyers flock to the southern cities, we tell you why it is a better option to bet your money on Bangalore, Chennai and Hyderabad. Doubtful about how to pay TDS on a new property you are buying? We decode TDS on property transactions in our special segment did you know and like always we answer all your queries in our special segment ask real estate but first up let's take a look at what made news in real estate this week in a move that will boost foreign direct investment in real estate, the government is planning on allowing FDI for purchase of agricultural land for construction development projects Billionaire Ajay Paramal's real estate-focused private equity fund India REIT is in the fray to acquire stake in two projects developed by Mumbai-based realty company Vardhaman Developers. Jewelry retailer Joya Lucas plans foray into real estate to launch a high-end residential project with an investment of 300 crore rupees. Alright, it's time to tell you the top pick of the week. Serving an important administrative and economic centre for many centuries, Chennai has seen property prices accelerate as much as 25% in the last two years. In fact, the much sought after corridors of central Chennai have seen rise in demand due to amplified interest from automobile and IT companies in the last one year. Sapna Dhanwani travelled to the southern city to tap investment opportunities and gives you a lowdown of the most talked about luxury projects in this southern city. Take a look. Fast developing infrastructure, incoming of automobile makers and IT parks have worked greatly for this quiet southern capital. Chennai, formerly known as Madras, has come a long way in the last five years. The city that was majorly occupied by inmates of the land has now attracted home buyers, NRIs and corporates from around the world alike. Although prices are now cooling off the highs they cracked a few months back, the investment and development potential remains brawny. It's not a wonder that Chennai has performed better than the much-touted Mumbai and NCR market in the last one year. Data according to research firm PropTiger.com shows residential property prices have shot up by nearly 8% in the last six months, whereas prices in Mumbai and NCR have remained more or less stable. The city has attracted developers from across the country to build homes in this region. The country's largest developer, DLF, along with Hira Nandani, Godrej Properties and Bangalore-based Puravankara have set up base in the southern capital. It's no wonder that Chennai has debuted on the top 25 investment destinations in Asia-Pacific, according to a recent Emerging Trends in Real Estate 2014 report. What could be seen as a little spoiler is that prices in the most established locations like Nungambakam, Arepuram, Post Garden and Boats Club have now started to cool off. But prices on the old Mahabalipuram Road and East Coast Road are still holding on pretty strong. Talking about Nungambakam, the region has seen prices escalate as much as 14%. This region is known to be one of the most posh locations in central Chennai. Moving on, Post Garden, located in Alvarpet, has seen a jump of 13% in its residential property prices. This location also houses the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister's home. Situated about 9 kilometers from central Chennai, Besant Nagar is the best place if you're looking for a home overlooking the Blue Sea. Prices in this region have shot up by nearly 15% in the last one year. According to data from research firm IndiaProperty.com, Property prices on the OMR road have shot up by 55% in the last one year. This place is located about 40 kilometers from Chennai and is on the way to Pondicherry. The parallel road to OMR is the East Coast Road. The ECR stretches along the eastern coast overlooking the Bay of Bengal, located about 15 kilometers from Chennai. The region of Kovalam on ECR is witnessing the development of a super-luxury high-rise and villa project. 
The property is in the price range of 3 to 7 crore rupees for a unit and solely caters to buyers seeking a lifestyle product. The prices in this region have shot up by 20% in the last 12 months. Tamil Nadu as a state, like Karnataka, its neighbour has very good potential. Traction and the demand for luxury and super premium products is very high in Chennai. I think what we're building next to the presidency club was sold out and therefore going ahead with development we feel that we would be able to replicate the success of our premium products whether it is in Gulgaon or whether it is in other cities but Chennai would be definitely a, a showcase for the luxury segment that we provide. To give you a low of the most sought after projects in the region, it goes without saying that villas on Besant Nagar have been on everyone's mind for the longest time. Overlooking the Elliot's Beach, this place is a treat to the eyes every evening. Villas in this region are likely to cost you anywhere between 10 to 12 crore rupees. The locality is one of the most peaceful and green spaces in Chennai. Casa Grande Pavilion, known as the largest villa community, is located on the old Mahabalipuram Road. This place is surrounded by IT parks and provides 330 beach homes. The project not only has the usual gyms, tennis court and jacuzzi, but also has an indoor skating rink, a barbecue counter and ATMs. DLF Commander's Court, located in Egmore, is situated well within the city. A 3BHK in this project is likely to cost you 6 to 7 crore rupees. Apart from these high-end luxury projects, a slew of residential activity can be noticed in the city. Almost every lane has a new apartment coming up. Be it luxury or affordable housing, Chennai has a lot to offer. Taking cues from its neighbours like Hyderabad and Bangalore, Chennai is going to be what investors are going to be talking about in the coming year. What will attract you to this place is not just the returns that it has to offer, but the value for money that it has to deliver. Let us take a look at how prices in several localities of Chennai have fared in the last few years. Sapna Dhanwani joins us with the heat map. Well, Saloni, the quiet South Indian city of Chennai is finally starting to see some activity as far as residential property prices are concerned. Talking about prominent locations, Nungambakkam has seen a price appreciation of 14% in the last one year. Prices are currently hovering between the 9,500 to 14,000 per square feet mark. Taking a look at one of the posh locations in the city, Alvar Pet has seen a jump of about 13% in the last one year. Prices in this region are currently hovering between the 14,000 to 20,000 per square feet mark. Homes along the beach side are currently becoming very famous with people living in Tamil Nadu and NRIs alike. Homes along the Besanagar beach have risen about 15% on a year-on-year -year basis. Prices in this region are currently hovering between the 14,000 to 17,000 per square feet mark. However, what will be an unbelievable price appreciation is along the old Mahabalipuram road or most commonly known as the OMR. The prices in this region have shot up about 55% in a matter of last 12 months. Prices in this region are currently hovering between the 6,500 to 7,000 per square foot mark. What is known as the Parallel load is the East Coast Road or the ECR. Prices in this region have shot up about 20% in the last one year. Currently, the prices are ranging around 5,000 to 7,000 per square feet mark in this region. So that's how the chart for Chennai is looking like currently, Saloni. Back to you. To talk more on whether you should invest in Chennai, we have with us Rohit Kumar, Head of Research at DTZ, joining us from Gudgaon. Uh, Rohit, thank you for joining us. My first question uh, to you would be, we've seen a lot of activity as far as the uh, residential market in Chennai is concerned. Is it some place that you would recommend to investors and home buyers? Uh, it is important to note that uh, Chennai and, and to, to a large extent Bangalore as well are two end user driven markets. And hence, they are very, very stable with respect to uh, appreciation of capital values and appreciation of rental values as well. So the yield that you can command in that particular town in Chennai and Bangalore uh, is, 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 is much better than what you can get in, in, in a Delhi NCR or a B Mumbai. Uh, let's get your view on the luxury uh, market as well. We've seen a luxury market in Mumbai and NCR slackening. Uh, what is your view as far as the luxury market in Chennai is concerned? Are there several projects which buyers can go out for? Yeah, Nungapakam is uh, another area where you can uh, you know, expect decent amount of supply. Uh, the capital values ranges between 25,000 square feet to 33,000 square feet in that particular area. Uh, uh, it's, it's a good investment option uh, as compared to post garden wherein you have restricted supply. Uh, uh, Nungabakam would be really uh, leading the way in terms of supply for uh, ultra-luxury uh, villas and apartments. 
As far as the price upside is concerned, uh, what sort of price upside are you expecting in the Chennai market? This is a very stable market uh, as compared to Delhi NCR and Mumbai. Uh, if you're looking at uh, Chennai as an investment option, uh, you could easily get a 10 to 12 percent appreciation in your capital value uh, per annum, so to speak. All right, Rohit, stay with us. We will come back to you for more views. It is time for a short break to get our expert opinion on your property matters. Feel free to call us or email us. Details coming up on the screen. On the other side, we tell you why the real estate market in southern India is giving Mumbai and the national capital region a run for its money. More on that in just a bit. Keep watching Real Estate.